Today we're going to look at the mail sweep function within the mail program that comes with Windows 8. If you're familiar with rules and Outlook, you'll know what it is. These are basically just rules that uh, you can record, and it's all uh, done this time by point and click. So let's go into it. Now I have an account up here with some New Egg newsletters. Uh, I get two different ones, by the way. I get one from their promo site and one from their Flash site. But I want to control how they come into my account. So if I hover over that, or if I click on the email, it's in the right-hand column, and you hover over the name there, you'll see this from promo at email.newegg.com. If I look at this other one here, you'll see that it's the same exact place. So both of these are for the same one. These are just different days' emails. So I can click on any one, but I click on the top one, and, and what it's going to do is I'm going to create a rule to based upon how it asks me questions and answers them on what to do with these uh, emails from this particular email account. So if you right-click on it, you'll see at the bottom, you see some options, and you click on Sweep. We have uh, quite a few selections here. First of all, delete all from inbox. That's uh, self-explanatory. If you have a bunch of emails from the same place, you can delete them all. The next one is delete all from inbox and block future. Instead of unsubscribing, you can block them. You can always keep the latest one and delete all the rest from all the folders, which we're going to come back to because that's the one we're going to be using. And then, of course, then there's always delete emails more than 10 days from all folders. Uh, that's a little drastic. Uh, you want to be able to manage yours. But if you feel confident you never want to see anything over 10 days, you can choose that. But anyways, we're going to say always keep the latest one, delete all the rest. So we're going to go from the promo email that newegg.com, just from their promo account. Or we're going to go ahead and say sweep those. And we're going to say always keep the latest one and delete all the rest from all folders. And click on sweep. Well, nothing seemed to happen when I do that. And then you may run into this as well because I, I ended up doing it two or three times trying to figure out what the heck was going on. Why didn't it clean up these other email copies? Then I realized this is not working off of a local file on your hard drive. It's working off of a cloud service. So maybe there's a delay. Uh, so sure enough, I uh, played with it a little bit more, and I still couldn't get it to work. But then I got that message at the top. We're moving your messages. So it's trying to do it. So it says, hey, hang on. We're trying to do it. And I eventually actually got an error message saying that I had trouble connecting to my Outlook account. Well, that being said, is that, okay, something was wrong. My connectivity or their servers or whatever didn't make any move make any difference it was trying to do it it knew the rule it just hadn't done it yet so unlike me be a little patient and it, you'll, you'll probably see that it uh, actually works as a matter of fact I went back into it here on another day I decided to go back in and there's uh, only one of them there I said well look at that uh, there's a, it, it I didn't delete these so they're gone somewhere I looked over here and here's all the ones in the uh, new egg folder over here uh, for the flash which I hadn't done yet so I said okay let me try this one here so remember, this one, first one was from email.newegg.com. So I would go back over to the Flash folder, which I had already moved the messages over there. I said, OK, this one here, I want to uh, create a rule for the newegflash.com. So I go here the same way I did the other one. I, I simply go to the email, right click, and I say sweep. And the same ones come up. And I click always keep the latest one to the other rest from all folders. And if I click on sweep, watch what happens. This time, moving your messages immediately, boom, it went ahead and deleted them all immediately. No delay, no pause. So now we have both the newegg.com or new, promo at newegg.com and promo at newegflash.com with rules that automatically clean up because I don't get there every day to look at their offers and everything. I just want to see the latest one because they expire in 24 hours. So why would I want to keep the other ones? So now I want to do one more thing. I want to move the flash to a uh, automatic move to the new newsletter folder. Uh, this is a little off topic from the sweep because it's just another rule. It allows you to create another, two rules. One is that this one here is going to operate. It's going to move it all to the from this sender over to the newsletter folder by default. So now see there it's moving all your messages. It'll do that for you automatically. Then it'll do the sweep program and delete the ones that every day when it gets a new one in, it'll get rid of the old ones. So you have two things going on. So this is a visual way to create rules. If you, like I said, if you're familiar with Outlook, you used to have this little dialog box to pop and you make your choices. But this, you just drag and drop, answer the questions, and you can manage it and keep your mailbox cleaned up all those extra messages that you don't need to see anymore. And don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Have over 150 Windows, Windows 8, and Windows Phone 8 videos and any more every day.